people may not understand a lot of the nuance to how to make a great old fashioned or make a great Manhattan, the history of those drinks and how they really, really uh, marry well with the experience of a cigar. And by the way, this is not an old fashioned. This is a bold fashion. This is a bold fashion. We'll <laughs> say this is a bold <laughs> this, fashion. This, this baby has a little bit of heat, man. I love it. I love it. So what, 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 what do we have in here? Well, I used for your for your old fashioned or bold fashion, I used a higher proof bourbon. This is the Bardstown Bourbon Company's Discovery Series, mm -hmm. Series 10. It is a blend of different bourbons ranging from Tennessee to Kentucky yeah. to also Georgia. There is a uh, up to a 13 year old bourbon in here. There's a six year old, a nine year old. So it's a really nice bolder blend. And I love what they do. I thought it would work and nicely. We, and we have some good proof on this. Some good proof. That's why we're calling it the bold fashion. The bold fashion. The bold yeah. fashion. Of course, the original old fashion really has its roots in the 1700s because really back in the day. Yeah, they wow. were just for cocktails. They were really just adding a little bit of sugar, a little bit of bitters, some fruit to a cocktail. So really, as it progressed through the years, we came to a time of prohibition and some of the spirits that were being created uh, by the moonshiners and, and was not very palatable. Was not the but best stuff. So they wanted to add some fruit, some sugar, some elements, some bitters to actually really calm those flavors down so it would be more palatable. Yeah. So that's why they call it the old fashioned. They were looking back to a, an older style of a cocktail. Wow. And so there's so many cocktails that are based on the old fashioned. Mm -hmm. When you think about the element sugar, fruit, when you're muddling those those elements together, yeah. releasing the sugars, allowing it to really marry the bourbon. You can also make it old fashioned with the rye. You know, obviously, uh, uh, in, in in tasting it, I can uh, you know taste that it it is, is is a fuller expression as far as bourbon, but it's not it's high proof, but it's not super hot necessarily. Right. Uh, and whatever heat it has, like I said, is really being offset by the bitters, the muddled fruit and so forth. So um, it's very, very uh, fragrant. Um, yes, nice very elements that fruit release. Forward. Not super sweet, but it's, it's pairing very well with um, with the uh, Cohiba Cerium. And it's kind of, you talk about prohibition. That was that era was sort of uh, some of our inspiration for what the Cohiba Cerium looks and feels like. Of course, Cerium stands for Miami. Right. Uh, it's a special release that we make in Miami on Cayo Ocho, Little Havana with uh, El Titan de Bronze, uh, 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 a classic family owned, um, you know, uh, Cuban heritage yes. uh, cigar factory. Very small batch. We do 50,000 cigars a year. Um, but when we approached this, we wanted it to be something that paid homage to some of the, um, the Miami vibe, but we right. didn't want it to sort of be uh, New Miami. Not that anything's wrong with New Miami, yes. but uh, we didn't want it to feel like sort of the, the club and nightlife feel that that Miami has sort of a, a reputation for now. So we really wanted to throw back to some of the uh, old Fisher Island, think uh, Great Gatsby, think Roaring Twenties, think, you know, that that sort of prohibition era. So that's why the, the packaging sort of looks it like has it looks, that has that feel, the use of, of, of the hunter green, the gold elements, and it's just sort of a, a throwback classic feel. So I think it's appropriate that we're enjoying this with the classic cocktail. Man. It is. This is the perfect pairing. And also we're in Manhattan. And yes. when we look toward the history of Manhattan, the original Manhattan, Manhattan was actually yeah, 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 yeah. invented here. The late 1800s, the Manhattan yeah. was invented here. I wanted to do something for this cocktail to really showcase New York. So you're going to make a Manhattan. That's right. I'm going to make a Manhattan. So, yeah, we're going to have two right, bold cocktails right, right. with the Syrian. This is, uh, as you'll read on the bottle, New York City's oldest whiskey distillery. New York City's oldest whiskey distillery yeah, yeah. post-prohibition. It's only a little over a decade old because wow. bringing these distilleries back to places... Was no easy task. Was no easy task, mm -hmm. right. So there are rye whiskeys, of course, wonderful rye whiskeys from Kentucky, from Tennessee, all over. And when you get into different types of whiskeys elements, you know, on New York whiskeys, I get some of the minerality from from the water source here, which they often say the, the pizza, the, the bagels and all something special. It truly is when you look toward other places, mm -hmm. Texas, California, the bourbons, the ryes, they all taste unique because yeah. of those water sources. So this is the um, Manhattan. Nice. Cheers. That is beautiful. And those elements, you know, when we think about generations, as you mentioned, going back to what cigars would have been like back then, mm -hmm. as cigars are, are growing, right? So, so are cocktails, so are spirits. We had pre-prohibition, 5,000 distilleries in this country. Wow. 5,000. It took us 
up until 2001 to have 100 distilleries that have come back, so. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah. And you talk about this era, uh, the early, early 20th century in, in America, tobacco was a major, major commodity in the landscape of America at the time. And cigars were um, the most prominent, I guess, use of tobacco, along with pipe tobacco. I mean, you know, it was some form of premium cigars. So this is great that we, we're talking about these classic. Pairing some spirits. classic flavors um, yeah, together. Yeah, a lot, a, lot, a lot of synergies in the histories, man. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And when you do these pairings, it's like a journey through time. For yeah. me, it's a journey through time, knowing that someone would have had this not only yesterday or 20 years ago, but 100 years ago, a similar pairing. Cheers. Salud, brother. Salud.